Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and since the first of the year I have been going through my hoard. I promised myself that I would get it cleaned out, either re-donate, redo, or just put stuff directly in the booth how it is. Today's video is a compilation of all the critters that I found that either need a little work, maybe they just need some cleaning, but whatever they need, we're gonna get all these critters fixed up in today's video. We're gonna start with bunnies. The first bunny I found at a thrift store down visiting my daughter, which is about six hours away. The bunny was in great shape, but did not make the trip home. I broke the ear off. I glued the ear back on a while back with Gorilla Glue or Tie Bond or something, so it's holding really well. And today I am going to do a mixture of baking soda and this alabaster white. I mixed it a little bit thicker than half and half because it was kind of a slick surface. And then I am using just a cheap chip brush to stipple it on so it gives the effect of, I don't know, bunny fur. And I also had this little bunny. I think I got it at a yard sale for like 25 cents. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna do the same thing on it. And for the second coat, I am going to just a regular painted on. I'm not going to stipple the second coat just to get good coverage and get everybody covered well. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go back and just wet distress the big bunny because he had a black eye that I could bring back through. The little bunny's eye had been spray painted, so I couldn't get it. And then I sealed them with a spray coat sealer and now these guys look so much better and are such cute, fun spring additions. I don't remember where I got this bunny, but I did not pay very much for it. And I thought it was absolutely adorable just the way it is. I love the color. Um, I love the glossy effect on it. So all I did was put him in the booth as is. Now we're going to move on to birds. Now I've got birds, chickens, all kinds of different birds. So the first one I have is this little tea light candle holder. He's super cute the way he is, but I wanted to soften it up just a little bit. So I'm just going to put some white wax over it and then wipe it back. And that will completely change the look without changing the look, if that makes any sense. But I just really like the softened up look of this bird now. I also found while thrifting these two cute little wooden ducks any kind of wooden ducks i have ever found have always sold really well these are smaller than i usually get but they were in really good shape other than they needed to just be freshened up some and there were a couple of spots where the stain had come off so all i'm going to do is take some straight up antiquing wax put it on let it sit just a minute and then wipe it back. It freshens up the wood. If it's dry, it gives it the moisture that it needs and it also somewhat stains the lighter areas of the wood. It also stays in those feather details and really just makes them pop. I totally forgot to get a picture of these ducks staged before I put them in the booth and price them. Staging is definitely an area where I struggle. I spend so much time trying to get everything ready that when it comes time to finishing them up, I'm rushing around, gotta be at work, gotta get these in the booth. 
whatever. So y'all might remember this big rooster that I got an estate sale, I think maybe back in August. So I've had it a while. Um, during the thrift haul video, I asked what you guys thought I should do. And most everyone said to paint him. I am using my new favorite DIY color, and this is Skeleton Key. I am really obsessed with this paint. I've always loved DIY paint, but this Skeleton Key is amazing. This was barely two coats, and he is covered, and he looks so good. So all I'm going to do now is white wax over Skeleton Key is just about as amazing as white wax over Apothecary if not more. So he's going to get white wax to bring back all the details of his feathers. And then this guy's done and he looks so majestic and so wonderful when he's finished. Leave me a comment down below what you think I should price this rooster at when you see the finished product. also had this other little chicken. I don't even think it was in my stash. I think it was just here in the house sitting on a shelf somewhere. I'm going to give it a little makeover. I am using Celery by Waverly. I really like this green color and it goes perfect with white wax also, which y'all know that's exactly what I'm going to do with this fella. This cute little red bird was in one of the bags on the walls at Goodwill. I think I gave $2.99 and for a bag that probably had five or six of these in there. All of them were in good shape except for this guy and some of his pine cone was broken. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of air dry clay and form it in my fingers to kind of add the pieces back onto the pine cone with some tight bond glue. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to camouflage it once it dries. I ended up letting this dry several days after I did this while I was working on other things. And then once it has completely dried, I'm going to come back and I'm just going to do some brown acrylic paint that I have over the dried clay. Doesn't match the pine comb at all, but that's okay. We're going to go back with some dark gray. I think this is Gravel Road by Dixie Bell. And we're just going to dry brush the entire pine comb to disguise the brown here and also add some more detail to the rest of it. Also, off camera, I did brighten up his red with just some red acrylic paint and 
even though he's more of a Christmas color, I'm going to go ahead and put him with my spring. You see red birds all the time, and this guy is looking so good now, you can't even tell that his pine cone was broken. Okay, so these guys I haven't had too long. They're pretty big. They're in great shape. No chips or dings or anything. The first thing I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take them outside and I'm going to give them a coat of black matte spray paint. Something happened with my spray paint. I had two brand new cans and they both were just sputtering and spitting. It made me so mad, but I did finally get them covered and hopefully you will not be able to tell where the paint was spitting. And then I'm gonna take a trick from the Ginger Chick Rehab and I'm going to paint over the black with this chalk, white chalk paint. I am hoping to distress back and get the black only, but um, to distress it, I am going to use a mixture of a wet rag and some 220 grit sandpaper. Unfortunately, it did go a little bit into some of the other colors of paint, but that was okay. There was just some bits and pieces of red and yellow that came back. But I'm going to go ahead and distress these two completely, and then I'm going to seal them with a top coat. And now they are done, and anytime you have a pair, they usually sell pretty well, so hopefully these guys won't last long in my booth. And finally, I have some cows. So I've had this little ceramic cow for a while and I thought he would be good as is, but for whatever reason, I don't know what it was, I could not get those stains off of him. So therefore, I'm gonna have to paint him. I'm gonna do him just like I did the little chicken from earlier and use this celery, the Walmart celery paint and give him a couple of coats. He's a little shinier than the uh, chicken was, so I had to be really careful and let it dry completely before coming back with the white wax so as not to pull off any of the paint. So what do y'all think about my little green cow? I think he's absolutely adorable. Okay, so my next cow is these handmade bookends. And to be honest, looking at them now, I have no idea why I picked them up, but I have them, so I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to just see what I can do with them. First thing, they are super dirty, so I'm going to take some crud cutter, and I'm going to clean them up really well, and then I'm going to take the white paint, and I'm going to touch up everywhere, basically, that isn't black or the little pink of the udders. I'm just going to give everything a fresh coat of paint, clean it up, and hopefully that will change the look enough that somebody will think that they are so cute that they need to take them home with them.
If you're still here with me, thanks you guys so much for watching. I wanted to kind of tell you what's been going on with me. I have injured my leg several times over in the few years, my knee, and it has finally come to the point where I'm having a lot of trouble getting around. I ended up in the emergency room not too long ago and had an MRI, and I have a completely torn ACL and a a uh, partially torn meniscus. So in a couple weeks, I'm actually going to be having surgery. That is going to make it very difficult for me to get down to my studio for a little while. So I may be absent for just some time. I'm going to try to get ahead, but it's really hard because now I can't miss any work because I have missed some being hurt and I'm going to have to miss some with surgery and I don't get that much sick time. So um, I just don't have a lot of time and I'm having a really hard time getting around with braces and crutches and all. Um, so y'all just be thinking of me and I would appreciate it if you don't mind to please watch some of my other videos that you maybe haven't seen or just put a playlist on and let them play and that would help me through the lean times when I'm unable to get videos posted. And I just realized doing this voiceover that I totally forgot to go back and put his eye on, but I'll do that. And again, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. I think I may have one more, maybe two more weeks of cleaning out my hoard. And then once I can walk again, I will be able to start shopping. So um, see you guys next week.